For a lot of us, we started playing sport at a young age. We are pushed into a class by our parents. But hey, the thing is now, we're getting older. And guess what? Not so many of our friends stuck to it. But you, you're different. You have that burning desire inside of you still to become a professional athlete. Unfortunately though, it's not looking too good, brev. Yeah, it's not looking good, brev. You're getting older now, let's be honest. And with that, the chance of you becoming a pro is getting smaller and smaller. So you can take any help you'll get, right? So in this video, I've mapped out the direct journey that you need to take to become a professional athlete. To make this nice and simple for you, I'll put each category in its own phase of the video. Diet. Okay, repeat after me. You cannot out-train a bad diet. This really does come down to the basics of training and enables you to build that foundation to become an athlete. You just need to be eating clean, but not too clean, because you're not a robot, are you? Let me set one thing out straight first. Do not overcomplicate this. Now, I know while most of us don't have the funds to go and buy a private chef or go buy the ingredients from Michelin star credible meals, you can still eat well. What you're eating, it does need to be good. It doesn't need to be socially labeled always as a meal. It just needs to do the job. Yes, while the majority of the world does have different specific names for different food combinations put together to make up these meals, you don't need that. Truth be told, the more you look into these supermarkets, the more you'll realize how many unnecessary ingredients are in the foods that you're eating. So just try to buy the most stripped back version of the food. That'll usually be the best thing for you. When you go into your supermarket, you're looking for something that doesn't have a long ingredient list. For example, you go into any local big superstore, you might find a big bag frozen chips that's gonna have an ingredient list on it of this bunch of other random crap that you don't want to be eating so you're going to go into the shop and find the most basic ingredient which what do you want from chips potato so just find a bag of potatoes and you'll notice on there there isn't an ingredient list because it is in its most stripped back basic form so you're going to get a couple foods like that and that is going to make up your meals like i said it doesn't need to be a socially accepted like way of having food you don't need to have bangers and mash mate roast dinner like macaroni like all these foods you don't need to have like a set meal you could just be as simple as oats and a banana and some mixed nuts in there just like i'm having now or another like favorite snack that i like to have yogurt and berries like it can be as simple as that it doesn't need to be these set out like i say socially labeled things <laughs> Diet? Completed it, mate. Completed it, mate. You can't complete it. Phase two is training. While of course I don't know each single viewer on this channel one by one, I don't know which sport you all individually play, I can tell you all one thing as a group standard. That you need to commit. I know it genuinely sounds so cliche, but you do really need to make a hell of a amount of sacrifices if you do want to make it all the way to the top. Those parties, forget them. Going clubbing, that's not for you, okay? I'm not saying you can't have fun, but there are other ways you can do it with your mates. Go out and have a good time, but don't sacrifice your career. You need to commit it all to your training. And you need to do it now. The first step is having a plan. You need a plan in place for your team sessions, your solo sessions, your gym work everything needs to be covered whether you get that outsourced through your coach or pt or you just do it yourself you need a plan in place something to keep you accountable and most importantly make sure you make progress That was tough, but you have to go the extra mile in these things, literally. Now phase three. Wait, is it phase three? Diet training. Now phase three. 
mentality. When you're chasing something as big as becoming a professional athlete, there are going to be people that try and shoot you down. So you really do need a rock solid, just unshakable level of confidence in yourself and in your ability to perform. Sure, the odds of you winning the next Ballon d'Or or you know, World Cup, they are slim but they're never impossible. It literally is just about putting yourself out there. Sure, people might call you crazy. They might call you a delusional optimist, but hey, at least you're not average. Now, on mentality, one thing to get your confidence soaring, absolutely sky high for footballers. I know this works anyway, is go and get yourself a fresh room at the barbers, okay? Uh, it just does wonders for your confidence. You've got to believe me. I, you've got to allow me because it's not style. Just come out of the barber. He cut me open too, so I've had a bit of a traumatic experience, but we're gonna head home uh, and I'll talk to you some more. Getting regular haircuts, just, oh, it's just a good, good feeling. It really does help with your confidence. Obviously helps with that aerodynamics. And yeah, it just really is like a part of the lifestyle. What you think is what you do, and what you do is then what you become. Keep yourself ticking over, looking good, feeling good, all that sort of stuff. So that leads us onto phase four, which is lifestyle. To become a pro, you need to be acting like one. You need to act, you need to sleep, train, walk, talk, everything like you're already a pro. While obviously someone who's already on a professional contract, you might not be able to dedicate as much hours to the grind as they can due to school or work. You still need to carry that presence with you and act like the person who you want to be. Because when you have a dream, a goal in mind as big as becoming a professional athlete, acting like you already have these things and attracting them into your life like they're already there. It's just one of the unspoken truths about success. Walk the walk, talk the talk, and watch as your goals start to flood into your life and your dreams become your reality. Just how you'll grow on and off the pitch as a human being.